In this short demo, we'll have a look at how you can configure the Anybus X gateway for Modbus TCP, both on the Modbus TCP side and on the controlling PLC side. In this example, we're using Profibus as the controlling network, but the configuration works similarly for other controlling networks as well. This is the configuration tool of the Anybus X gateway for Modbus TCP. I get here by simply typing in the IP address of the gateway. I find the IP address of this particular gateway by running Anybus IP config, which I can download from anybus.com. On my start page, I can see the overview information about the X gateway and the status of the connected networks. In authentication, I can choose to set a password for the X gateway to restrict access. In Modbus Client, I set up how the Modbus Client should perform. In Modbus terms, the client is the master. Here, I can set up IP address, subnet mask, and router IP address. In this case, this is all set automatically by a DHCP server on the Modbus TCP network. With a DHCP server, the IP configuration is dynamic, so to make the numbers permanent, you need to disable DHCP and specify the numbers. HICP is the protocol that Anybus IP config uses to communicate with Anybus products. By enabling this, the gateway can be found by Anybus IP config. Startup operation mode indicates how the X gateway should act at startup. In this case, it is set to running, which means that it is waiting for a control word from Profibus before it starts. We can also specify what to do if Profibus is not exchanging I.O. data. Either clear data to Modbus servers, which means that it sends zeros, or freeze data to Modbus servers, which means that it keeps repeating the data it sent the last time. I'll save my settings, which means that my new changes are saved on the server. However, they are not yet published to the X gateway. I will need to do this in X Gateway Management later on. Now I'll move on to the Modbus servers, which is where I set up the different robots, drives, barcode scanners, or any other devices I want to communicate with on the Modbus TCP network. I click Add New Server and choose Edit to configure the server. In this case, it is a robot I want to communicate with. I'll type in a server address and click OK. Now I need to add transactions to my server to specify what data I want to copy through the gateway. I click Add New Transaction and choose Edit. In this case, I'll set up a transaction called Read Data and specify the Modbus TCP specific function that I want to use. I can also set up timeout in milliseconds and change the scan time. Scan time specifies the time between repeating transactions. I'll also change the starting address to 1000 and choose the data type I want to use. I click OK to save my settings. Now we move on to configure the Profibus side. Just like on the Modbus side, I can choose what to do when the other network is not sending any data. I can also choose to set a map control status word and live list. We have now configured both the Modbus TCP side and the Profibus side and saved the configuration on the server. By going to X Gateway Management, I store the configuration on the actual X Gateway by clicking Apply Changes. The changes are now stored, and I can go to Mapping Overview to see the data we've set up to read as input data. Here, we can see the different data modules that are configured for the different slots. Finally, I can save my configuration, either to my hard drive or to the SD card on the X Gateway.